welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collective haul to share with you. Yeah, I went on a, like a three month hiatus of hauls and now I'm just like slowly kind of picking things up here and there and, and that kind of thing. So I went to Old Navy, Old Navy, blah, blah, Home Sense here in Canada, which like the state, so it would be Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, that kind of thing. But it was Home Sense in Canada and Lush. I think that's everything. So I'll start off what, what I'll do is I'll start off at Old Navy. Um, I've had success with some of the things. I just stop in there. I don't have any rhyme or reason to go in. I just take a look to see what's on sale. I didn't get a lot. I just got a couple items. They were doing tanks and tees. Buy one, get one free. So I got a blank, a blank, a black tee. Just a, or sorry, a tank. And I got a white one. And they have, and I love, um, like, the lumberjack kind of look to the shirts. This is super thin, it's for summertime. Um, so that's why I got those tees to go underneath. Um, but perfect weight for summertime, so I'm looking forward to wearing that. Um, okay, let's go on to Lush. Oh my goodness, oh, and I forgot to look up what it was. Sorry, I'll, I'll explain in a second. So the last time I went to Lush, so here's a little bag. She squeezed a lot in this bag, I will say that. Um, last time I went to Lush, they used this new hand scrub that they have um, on me, and it was both moisturizing and exfoliating. And when you know going to the gym or working with your hands, I get a lot of calluses and that on my hands. So it was a really, really nice, it felt gorgeous and moisturized and I'd never even put moisturizer on after. So um, I ended up picking it up in the smallest size to put by my kitchen sink. It's called the Salted Coconut Hand Scrub. Um, that's what is there. And they say this creamy coconut and sea salt scrub is the perfect way to keep your hands in tip top condition. It smells great. And it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I, I'm going to be putting it by my kitchen sink. So you know, after I do some dishes, I can just treat my hand to a little hand treatment, if you know what I'm saying. Um, they have this new soap. I'm not normally the um, a hard soap person from Lush, but the Maypole soap, Maypole soap, which this is expensive. It was $8, I think. But it smells like um, the salt and peppermint scrub, which I haven't even used it. I only have one from, from winter. It only came out in winter, so it's got like a mint chocolate, which is one of my favorite scents. But look at it, it's circular and it's super cool. Oh, it smells like a uh, mint arrow. That's what it smells like, and I like mint arrows a lot. Yum. Uh, what did I get here? Oh, the Yoga Bomb. I'm intrigued, they have a few new bath bomb products that they had you know brought out a couple months ago and I haven't tried that so I got the yoga bomb more earthy more for the relaxation I'd say um I, I, this is what I don't remember the name of now I got two of these and I'll show you in a sec because they do melt they are their new bath oils now they are replacing except the except the ch chairdwin's chairdwin's cauldron that one's staying the same but all the other mel melts, like the mango and the mm, mm mm which is the melting marshmallow moment and the floating island, they're all turning them into small little um, bath oils. They're about $3.50 a piece, which the old bath, they were bigger in size, the bigger ones I'm talking about that they are discontinuing. But I always split them in half anyway, and they were about $7. So they're about the same price. I got two of these ones. Again, it's going to melt in my hand, but this is supposed to replace the mm, mm, mm or the melting marshmallow moment. It does lean more towards the snow fairy scent, but um, which is not my favorite scent, but I, I really wanted to try that out. They didn't have the mango and they didn't have the other one in yet. I might go back in there later on this week. I'm not sure. I'm just swinging out of that city again. And I'm so glad they still have these. They have the, I think it was the Rose Garden bath bomb for Mother's Day. It's only Mother's Day. I got two of these. It smells like rose jam. And if anyone here has been watching me for any length of time, you know that my very favorite scent from bath from Lush is rose jam. I stock up on that stuff. Okay, let's go to Home Sense, the last stop. And I've got some um, candles I picked up and I'm really excited about a new company to me. 
So, but first off, uh, because I have darker hair at the moment anyway, um, and I'm nearing the end of my Batiste, uh, my regular spray, I think it's the original, I picked up for $6.99 at HomeSense, I picked up the dry shampoo for the dark and deep brown. Give it a whirl, see how it, how it does. I picked up this picture and frame. It looks, it's like a piece of quartz, or I don't know. An agate is a beautiful and natural mineral that is commonly found in volcanic rocks. Throughout the world, it is known for its unique fine grains and colors, which can be strip, uh, strip blended, or moss-like forms. No two um, agates are ever the same, making each stone a natural earth, earth's beauty. Now, I got this for $32 Canadian. There's a little ding on the frame over here. I don't care. I love this. One of my favorite um, court classes in school, in high school, I love geology, geography, and earth science. And I love things like that. I, and I love purple. So I saw that and I, I was humming and hawing and I'm like, no, I went right back and picked it up. So, all right, on to the candles that I picked up from HomeSense. Two, which I'm really excited. I could not find the, any of these DW Homes and Three Wick. I was searching high and low i went to two winners and a home sense and i'm not i couldn't find it all so this one i picked up is the guava ki kiwi it's the two wick it's got a t it's definitely got a tang to it that must be the guava the kiwi is normally like kind of sweet and acidic uh, mandarin agave this one I'm on the fence with it kind of smells i don't know how i feel about it on cold but i was interested to try I'm just taking a look at the, oh, they are a little bit different. And the, there's the ombre color. And the next three candles I've got, they're from the same company, a new company to me. If I can find them in my home sense, I am sure most of you guys are going to start seeing these trickling into your home uh, winners, home outfitters, um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. So I picked up three from this line. It's from Tilly, Australia, made in Australia. So Tilly. And this one is in the pink uh, lychee or pink lychee. And this one's probably my favorite out of the three that I got, at least on cold. They all have the same packaging except for the little sticker. This is beautiful. And I like me a light, uh, again, I don't know how you say if it's lychee or lychee. Um, martini. Mm, those are good. But yes, and I picked this up. They were $9.99. Oh, and those DW Home ones are $12.99 Canadian. These were $9.99 Canadian, which will probably be like $6.99 or $7.99 American if you find them. This is my favorite, pink lychee. I'm just going to stick with that. I also picked up this one here, and that's the Pineapple Crush. And this one, I, I'm not, I like it, but it's out of the three, it's probably my least favorite. So that's what it looks like there, but it's, it's kind of got a little bakery note to it, which I'm interested in trying to see if I can pull that bakery note out of it as well. So again, that was a Pineapple Crush. And the last one in this group, same company there again, Tropical Gardenia. And again, if anyone knows me, you know I love white flower or florals. Yeah, it's got a little more of a green note to it. I'd say I can smell gardenia, but I also smell a green note to it, if that makes sense to anyone, like a leafy, earthy scent, but in, not dirt, Let me put it that way. I really like that as well. So you guys, this is my haul that I did, my little collective haul. Um, yeah, so, and I cannot wait. I'm going to, today's Thursday. I'll be, I think I'll be uploading tonight if I don't get called out. And I'm going to pick up these candles from, um, from a boutique tomorrow. And I don't know, I'm going to, I'm going to be way too busy this weekend to film for it. So I may not get that video up until next week, but I'm so excited. It's a Canadian company. Um, their candles have been part of swag bag for the Grammys and things like that. Made in Manitoba, which amazing. Cause I mean, first of all, it's Canadian. And second of all, hardly anything other than mucklucks are made in Manitoba. I swear. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but I'm so proud when I see Canada stamped on it. And I, they're expensive. These candles are about the size that these are for $28. Now the, I'll tell you more about it when I get them, but I have to go to a boutique like an hour and a half one direction <laughs> so it's a three hour journey for me but um i'm i'm gonna be studying so that'll be a break between studying again coming home packing because i got 
another course and a big exam to do this weekend. So you guys, again, as always, thanks for joining me. Uh, it's always a pleasure and I love uh, answering your guys' comments down below. So be safe everyone and have a great weekend.